This kid asked random people who they thought was the most attractive Asian ethnicity, and these are the answers he got. Yeah, this is from the mindset guy. He went around USC's campus asking people some random questions, so let's run the clip. Asian is the most attractive ethnicity. Filipino. Why Filipino? Because I'm half. What makes them attractive? They can sing and dance. What Asian is the most attractive ethnicity? Chinese. And why is that? My favorite Asian girl is Chinese. Who's your favorite Asian girl? Mi Ling. Huh? Ming Song. Is she a baddie? Super baddie. What Asian is the most attractive ethnicity? Japanese. Okay, why is that? Pretty, pretty awesome. What makes him awesome? Kung Fu. Yeah, it's Chinese. What Asian is the most attractive ethnicity? I couldn't even tell you. Do you have a favorite Asian? Jack Chan, cool. Check it on. Chinese, my boy! Yes, sir! What is the most attractive Asian ethnicity? I don't know, there's a lot of them. You gotta narrow it down to one. I'm one of my professors. Wait, where is she? She's Asian. She's hot. What Asian is the most attractive ethnicity? Korean. Yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! I mean, just look at him. Yes, just look at him. Oh, it's Chinese. <laughs> Well then, there you go. What is the most attractive Asian ethnicity? What the fuck? <laughs> Boom! Honestly, I thought the clip was funny. Listen, mm -hmm. I understand there could be other reactions. Some people were like, this was cringe. This is problematic. Other people were just like, I don't know. It just goes to show you that when you ask random people some random questions, sometimes they keep it real, but they don't know much. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I think that the answers were funny and authentic and genuine. So, uh, yeah, I guess, David, what are your first thoughts on this? You know, like, w overall, what would you say? As somebody who has done Man on the Street at USC, I can appreciate it. But yeah, mm. obviously, we don't know what was edited out. There could have been somebody who was like an Asian studies minor or something like that, but their answer was too boring. Obviously, listen, guys, this is Gen Z. They're TikTok kids. They want to create a viral video. But I will say this. I still think that it's really easy in 2023, Andrew, to be in this almost like this subreddit cyclone where you don't really know how much other people people know or don't know well well you know what's funny just as you think maybe this guy or a lot of asians on the jackfruit page are stuck in kind of asian circles so when we hear that people haven't tried bubble tea we're shocked right but if you think about it everyone else is also in their cyclones and 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 tornadoes too their own little universes too so in a way as much as there's more information out there for everybody people are also more stuck into their own echo chambers. It's really weird. It's almost like there's some people that are like the most cultured people that ever lived on earth. But you, do you benchmark yeah. them as like the default? And also at the end of the day, man, I'm not mad that people can't tell the difference between Chinese and Korean people right off the bat. When you're talking about Chinese Americans and Korean Americans on a college campus, who knows? Especially at USC, because everybody's going to look... Like a rich party. Yeah, kid. they're going to have like the style. Everybody's going to have a problem. Anyway, anyways. make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But one thing that people should know about, Andrew, is Smala. Smala sauce. Check it out. Shipping out right now. I mean, I will say this, man. I think that it's really interesting. I, I never get offended when non-Asian people don't know anything about Asians because I know that I've done the work to know a lot about non-Asian things, even though we run a channel that's primarily about Asian things. And I guess that's like my world talent in the sense of like, I've studied something that very few other people have studied at depth. It's not that I can't relate to other people who don't know anything about being Asian. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Another thing is I've seen people who you wouldn't think know anything about being Asian, particularly ex-NBA players or people at the NBA, Andrew, they're hyper aware of all the differences. Like even within China, they know about all the different provinces because Andrew, you know why? They have an incentive to try to seed basketball culture and uh, industries in all different Asian countries. Mm -hmm. So that's why they know because right. that's their job. Right, because right. people, but I guess, does it ultimately come down to a population's personal incentive in something? Like, how much do you know about this thing? It's because of, like, how interested you are into it. Do you like music from that culture? Do you like food from that culture? Or, or like, what makes somebody know about another group in America? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, they just uh, start off knowing kind of who they grow up around. And unless they're super well-traveled, you know, they're not necessarily going to know about the people. It also matters on your daily life. Like, is it information that you're going to use in your daily life? Right. Like you know all I mean? your, the things you learn about mitochondria and cell splitting in science class, a lot of people that went in and out one year. Yeah. A lot of geography, a lot of people learned 
learned in school, but then never traveled, and then they never used it right. again, so they forget. Uh, Andrew, Americans are specifically notorious for not knowing anything else about the rest of the world, because guess what? A lot of them don't care. Anyway, let's get in the comments section, Andrew. It kind of goes to our first point. Hey, if you don't hang out with Asians, you're not going to go know the difference, man. Somebody said, yeah, man, some dudes only know China. Yeah. And uh, I guess, you know, recently we did a man on the street in Hollywood, and a lot of people were still saying only uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, for the Asians in Hollywood that they knew, right? And Lucy right. Liu was number three. Mm -hmm. So it goes to show you that, you know, as much as there are people who can name you, like, every member of BTS and, like, even, like, the B-tier K-pop groups, there's, like, so many levels of understanding. Right. Somebody said, hold up, was the dude sitting on the bench eating cat food? And so, no, that was flaming uh, hot Doritos with uh, the Dorito guac. So just to clear that up, somebody said one time in high school, this guy said, isn't Asia and China? And then somebody said, yeah, I had somebody I work with ask if this dude was Korean or Asian, like WTF. And this came Yo, from a black woman. That still happens. Still happens. The, oh, are you Chinese or Asian? Are you Korean or Asian? What do you think that they think Asian is? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think that they are very geographically educated generally they're just yeah. not geographically tapped but, but they're in, also right? just not like thinking too much about it they're just like oh oh yeah china is part of asia okay whatever anyways what are you you know a lot of people do it to africa too right people yeah. think that africa is a country and not a continent and things right. like that somebody said they didn't want to say y'all all look alike and someone said mother effing i don't even look a little bit like you and someone said yeah y'all man y'all don't look different i grew up in socal so i can tell the difference but i know basically referring that i know other people who don't grow up around asians cannot tell asians apart right right um right. is it your iq for something literally just driven by what you were exposed to because you know how like a lot of people they may do asians may do it to other groups like for example a lot of people they may believe and obviously not us but like so all latinos in america are mexican Right, right. No, I mean, to this day, it's true. A lot of people, uh, when they see like an Ecuadorian, Guatemalan, Salvadoran type person, that they're just going to assume they're Mexican. Right, because right. they haven't like fleshed out their nuance. Their, their right. rainbow, uh, their, their crayon coloring pack only has like four colors yeah. instead of the 124 pack. Exactly. And obviously, uh, if we were to get specific about people's actual nuanced identities, it's way more similar to the 124 pack of crayons. Someone said this is mega cringe. Yes, it is. Was it cringe to you? Yes or no? As somebody who do has done a lot of MOS, it's like, you kind of like, you just like laughing at the spontaneity of it all, right? Hey man, if those are the real answers, let it be real. Somebody said, I love all Asians, but Asians from the Bayou do it for me. I don't care about the specifics. They all fam. So this black woman was basically like, Asians from the Bayou, where I'm from, like, I just get down with them. I don't, I don't even want to know the specifics. Like, I'm not uh, even about it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can feel that. I can feel where she's coming from, even though it's like, because it's just like, oh, man, we all just from the Bayou. Well, it depends on how they how asian they are you know like if right. they trying to you know recognize my specific or just or, be american man whatever dude everybody has such a different perception of like how people want to see them it's so interesting somebody said this has to be up north like ny or massachusetts because they seem to only know the northeast asians she said right in the bay is southeast asians everywhere well actually the truth is andrew this was at usc this was in la um you, I got to say something interesting, Andrew. Tell me if you agree or disagree with me. L.A. is actually very neighborhood specific. And the knowledge base, it's almost more based off the part of L.A. you're in than L.A. as a whole. Right. That's also not to say that these black people in this video are from L.A. themselves, though. They right, could be right, from right, another right, right. place. Because USC is a gigantic uh, multi, I guess, global feeder school, yeah. right? Somebody said, I... They only say that because they can't pro pronounce Vietnamese. This is a black woman. I'm so hard, tired of hearing Vietnamese. And this girl said, yes, I'm Viet too, and I'm tired of hearing Vietnamese. Vietnamese, that's funny. I haven't heard that in a while. That actually, mm. it made me laugh. Um, this black guy said, you know, for me, I say Cambodian. Mm. And then this white guy said, from a white guy, Koreans. And then somebody said, Filipinas represent Vietnamese. And someone said, how come, is that racist for the girl, the first girl who was half Filipino, half black, to say that her favorite is Filipinos because they can sing and dance? And then somebody else said, no, it's because a uh, higher probability of Filipinos are raised singing and dancing from their parents or their grandparents. It is more, probably a higher percentage. Somebody posted a Joe Coy meme saying rice is rice, basically saying if all Asians are different short grain, long range flavors of rice, but to the outside eye, rice is rice. And Andrew, 98% of the world's rice production comes out of Asia. Hey, do people really know the difference between jasmine and basmati rice right off the bat go what's the difference see 
short grain, long grain, sticky, there's a viscosities. Um, somebody just said we're all Chinese to them, to a lot of people out there. I guess, how true is that still to this day? I guess, like we said, you know, everybody's in their own like little confirmation bubble. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's like you're Andrew. Andrew, you're into this music artist and then you're going to your friends. And it's like, yo, did you hear about Daniel Caesar or something like that. And then somebody's like, who's Daniel Caesar? That's your, num your number one plate on your Spotify. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you not know? How do you not know? Because I guess what? The, there's market fragmentation, right? Yeah. And different people know different things. Yeah, that's why I'm not shocked by this video. You know, even in 2023, um, maybe he perhaps edited out a couple people who right. had better, more nuanced, more accurate Bore, answers. Boring academic response. But I'm not shocked, man. And it's not to say that these people are like, not smart in their own way, right. but I just they probably think, know a bunch of things that that person. Yeah, but know. I just think like you can learn something technically, but like if you don't continuously use it, you're not going to be well versed in it. And you have to understand that there's a lot of people that are outside of this K-pop BTS world. Or in Asia, fact, Asian memes, boba memes. In fact, that is most of America. Most of how, America how, is still outside of how this. How much do we want people to know? Is it just about having our own little internal world? Or is it like, you know, for a while, I remember Spanish people used to look at me crazy because I didn't know who J Balvin and Bad Bunny were until they, they went, you know, had the songs he, he, with Drake and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how much Asians want other people to know because sometimes when then then other people know too much then it then it's annoying to asians like oh you're trying to tell me right. about my own culture but then it's like oh wow you don't know anything about my culture it's like dude just let let people learn respectfully whatever yeah that's my anyway take. guys let us know what you think in the comment section below i do not think the video was that serious listen people were very young whether they're 18 19 of course they're going to give answers honestly if they asked a bunch of asian students a bunch of african-american history questions I'm pretty sure, especially some of the foreign international students, I don't even know what type of answers they would have gave too. Maybe right. some not knowing anything either. Exactly. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.